Hello, and welcome to the latest episode of the vSphere Breakroom Chat. I'm Glenn Simon, Product Marketing Manager for vSphere. In this series, we bring VMware and uh, partner experts to talk about VM, uh, VMware's vSphere, as well as any related technologies. For today's episode, we're talking about a new service available within vSphere Plus called the Capacity Service. And our experts today are Sajan and Karthik. Welcome both of you to our break room chat today. Hello. Hello. All right. So uh, first of all, what is the new uh, this new capacity service in vSphere Plus? So this allows the capacity pl planning in the vSphere Plus console, Glenn. Okay. So when we talk about capacity planning, uh, what is it and um, why is it critical? Yeah, it's a good question. So capacity planning in a cloud environment is, is a crucial aspect of cloud computing. So it usually helps the business and enterprises ensure that their applications and services can scale, perform optimally while controlling the cost. And one important fact is when you think about capacity planning, it is like a multi-dimensional thing. So if I need to effectively do capacity planning, I need to have a deep understanding of the cloud environment, the underlying infrastructure, and the workloads and the application which runs on top of it. So we are bringing this capacity feature uh, right now, which is available on the area operations, previously known as the v release operations, by taking advantage of the well-proven AML-based algorithms to predict the capacity for VMware infrastructure. All right, so uh, so who who would benefit most from this, uh, and what problems does it solve for them? It's mainly two two type of person, either the VA admins in your organization or the cloud admins who use the vSphere Plus console to manage the virtual infrastructure, and at the same console they could see whether the infrastructure capacity is running out. They could also use that information to understand, hey what's my time remaining or capacity remaining of my clusters? Time remaining, okay. So it sounds like uh, it's it's kind of like, okay, just when, when you say capacity, I mean, things like memory, CPU, storage, that's exactly. that typical yeah. resources. Yes. And hey, you know, am I running out anywhere? Do I need to, I suppose maybe in, in one case it's fire drills, right? It's, oh no, I'm running short here over here, but maybe getting maybe getting earlier warnings on that. Um, and then maybe proactively kind of monitoring that. Um, is that kind of, do I, have that, do I have that right? Yes, you're absolutely correct, right? And, and when you really think about in an infrastructure, what actually runs on top of the infrastructure? Either your applications or the services. And I, as an admin, I have one problem is that my application has to be have a consistent performance and it is not constrained for the resources. That is precisely where this capacity OVV is gonna help the admin, right? Mm -hmm. Before the capacity runs out, as you highlighted, like for the CPU, whether it is CPU, storage or memory, before it runs out, and we would be able to predict it and say that, hey admin, now your infrastructure has a problem and it may run out by this many number of days, better take an action now. And a second way, a second use case when I think is that uh, suddenly somebody is coming, hey, a new application, we need to move into the production and I need to move this application. And uh, then I need to think about, do I have enough capacity in my infrastructure to add this particular application? So that's where, the main highlights coming, right? And now it is available right in your vSphere Plus console admin, and you just need to buy a click, take a look and figure out, hey, it's available. So yeah, let's talk about that. So this is not something requires an extra purchase, right? It's just it's just part of vSphere Plus. Uh, how do they actually turn on or activate it? That is the good news, it's on. You just get the vSphere Plus and it's right there as a separate tab. Okay, so yeah, it's one of the things we talk about with vSphere Plus is uh, a lot of the functionality is delivered through services, and so you don't need to install anything or, or maintain anything. It's just it just it just magically lights up right in the cloud yeah. console. Spot on. Great. All right. Well, do you have anything to uh, that you can show us and see how this thing looks? Uh, sure. Let me share my screen. 
So I have a VSPA Plus uh, subscription. And uh, once I log in, I have this launch pad. And to go to the capacity service, I click on uh, infrastructure operations and it shows events, securities and uh, capacity. So this is the data powered by uh, VDLA's operations. Um, and it quickly shows on the number of data centers, how many clusters and how many clusters with vSAN enabled, host, and number of uh, VMs and how many powered off and quick snapshot on time remaining and capacity remaining data. And to see more data, click on view details and it shows the consolidated view uh, and the breakup of the status for time remaining and capacity remaining. And if you want to delve into a specific cluster, you can choose the cluster and expand and you can see the quick summary of the cluster and uh, how much time uh, I have, uh, how, many, how many days I have until my cluster is going to fully occupied or utilized and the capacity, how much resources I have in the capacity. And to see more details, I can click on view details and it shows the, the graph of uh, with the spikes and the usable capacity limit. And in case if I see the spikes uh, on the higher side or lower side, I can uh, zoom into it and understand what exactly it is and understand whether it is a legitimate uh, usage or it is something uh, bad. So that's interesting. So not only can you sort of project okay, based on prior usage patterns, mm -hmm. we expect you're gonna probably run out of capacity like in a certain number of days or weeks or something like that. But it's, it looks like you can also uh, look for maybe um, certain periods where utilization spiked, maybe, I don't know if usage was, um, you know, for whatever reason, if, if there was a, a problem or if there was uh, a mistake, you know, in terms of doing migrations and someone did something wrong, you can see, and then troubleshoot or figure out the root cause. Yeah, spot on, exactly, yeah. Wow, that's nice. And right. you can do that for CPU, memory, and uh, storage. Mm -hmm. And you mentioned that there's some AI behind this, I guess, uh, to, to kind of figure out and project uh, when you're, you may run out. Is that kind of what the AI is doing? Yes, so you can see here, so this is the, the usable capacity on the top and this is your projected usage. So in case if it's going to run out, so the graph will be on the upper side and then you will know when it's going to exactly run out of the spaces, wow. uh, either on the CPU memory or storage. Wow, this is nice. So obviously a lot of powerful capability is just included in vSphere Plus, but I can see there's some, you know, I, uh, that we've, we've leveraged this technology from ARIA operations. Are there, you know, things that this can't do that maybe you might need to, to look at um, something, you know, ARIA operations, for example? Yeah, sure. So here, what it shows is the, uh, the what part. And if you want to optimize it further, then you have to take the uh, full power of uh, ARIA operations. You can do that by uh, requesting a free trial. So either in the ARIA operations uh, on-prem or the ARIA operations cloud, right? Okay. And if you like what you see, then you can uh, subscribe to it. And once you subscribe, then uh, this both the buttons will uh, disappear and then you can straight away go to the video, ARIA operations. I see. So this gives you monitoring and visibility, but if you want to optimize and actually take action, that's when you would want to yeah. maybe look at uh, upgrading to a re operations. Yeah, okay. exactly. And right. the, uh, the time remaining and capacity remaining and the capacity service is a very small portion of uh, what ARIA operations can do. And once you purchase or you know, access to the free trail, you can do much more. For example, you can customize a dashboard, you can do a workload optimization, and you can reclaim the resources and so on. Yeah, and it doesn't cost you anything to do a free trial. So that's yeah, nice. Yeah, definitely. Okay, well, uh, this, is, uh, this has been great. Um, where can people learn more about the new capacity service in vSphere Plus? Uh, sure, I have a blog um, which okay. talks about what exactly it does and uh, the, the data flow and uh, in-depth uh, in uh, uh, overview on how to access and uh, explanation for uh, time remaining and capacity remaining. Okay, excellent, thank you. 
Um, well, you know what, uh, at that, um, with that, let's, uh, I think we've come to the end of this episode. Thanks, Sajan and Karthik for joining us today. Uh, if you if you like this episode, please, please join us again next week uh, for the next episode. Uh, this is your host, Glenn Simon, signing off and have a great day, evening, night, and week. <laughs> Bye for next time.